Today's Cone Zone takes me here to downtown Las Vegas. It's the first Cone Zone of 2022, and of course, it's the same old issues from last year. It is the Las Vegas Viaduct Project, where the Nevada Department of Transportation is upgrading 1.6 miles of elevated freeway, including this stretch of freeway that you see elevated right behind me here at 4th Street. But there's going to be more closures to come, including along Eastern Avenue. We're going to have our detours in place that we have had when we closed down Eastern Avenue underneath uh, 515. So it's a nine-day closure. You heard it. A nine-day closure of Eastern Avenue is coming starting Monday afternoon, January 17th, and will last through Tuesday, January 25th, as NDOT prepares to demolish the northbound Eastern Avenue overpass along US-95, and construction crews will spend the rest of this week and all of next week doing some prep work for that upcoming closure. They are starting to restripe the road, um, the highway, because when we start the demolition on the north side, we're gonna shift the traffic on southbound 515 to the south side. One of the biggest aspects of this project that you don't see lies actually underneath the structure above. It's actually these giant columns that you see here, hundreds of them underneath the viaduct that are getting some seismic upgrades. The famous Las Vegas bounce. Uh, some people describe it as our free roller coaster of the valley. Uh, is that going to is that part of the project where the, where the where the bouncing up and down is going to be fixed? No, you're going to still have your free ride. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Now, the entire viaduct upgrade project, including the replacement of the overpasses at Eastern Avenue and Desert Inn, should be completed by the end of this year, making the downtown elevated freeway section of US-95 safer than ever to drive on, even with the bouncing up and down. I'm Ken Smith, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.